Hey Pre-K, this is Miss Gravatt, and we're going to start our unit on the seasons this week. And so um, we're the first thing we need to do is we're going to read this book. Right here, it's called What Makes the Season by Megan Montague Cash. But before we read, let's learn some new vocabulary words. All right, the first word is autumn. Everybody say autumn. Look at those leaves falling. We talked about autumn in the season of fall when the, the leaves are changing colors and falling on the ground. That's a season of autumn. Say autumn. All right. The next word we're going to learn is flurries. Say flurries. This is our friend Olaf, and Olaf is made of a snow flurry. Flurry is little pieces of snow that are falling to the ground. He's enjoying his own little flurry. Say flurries. We didn't see a lot of snow this year, did we? All right, and the last word we're going to learn is sprinkling. Say sprinkling. We've seen a lot of sprinkling this, sum this spring with all the rain that we've been having. Look at the rain hitting those flowers. That's a sprinkle. Say sprinkling. All right, good. Now let's get over. All right, now it's time for us to read our book right here. What Makes the Seasons by Megan Montague Cash. The day began with sprinkling rain, tapping at the window pane. Rain has turned the sky to gray. Our snowman friend has gone away. What happened to that snowman friend? Where did he go? Fresh green leaves are peeking out. What makes this their time to sprout? Spring's mild weather wakes the seeds, bringing showers each seed needs. Spring was here but couldn't stay. Spring left on a summer day. Plants that once were hardly there now have flowers everywhere. Each tree and weed and lima bean shows its favorite shade of green. Why is this a growing season? Plants grow tall, but what's the reason? What all do you see that is green in this picture? I see some trees and the grass and these sunflower stems. Wow, lots of green things and a little turtle. Plants grow best in summer light when days are long and warm and bright. Oh, I can't wait for long, warm, bright days. But when the summer days are gone, the autumn days have just begun. The sun grows dim, the wind blows cold, green leaves turn red and gold. The colored leaves dance all around, but why do leaves fall to the ground? Where's the girl? Can you find her? There she is. She's playing in those leaves. And all the leaves on all the trees are teeny food fa uh, factories. Leaves use sun to make the food. Where there's less sun, leaves come unglued. The weather brought about a change last night. Winter turned the whole world white. Puffy flakes swirled high and low. Snow made flurries. What makes snow? In a chilly clouds, the raindrops freeze. It's one of winter's recipes. Winter is a time for sleep. Trees are resting, seeds will keep. Many creatures sleep and wait. Winter is a time to hibernate. But what controls the season's change and what makes weather rearrange? Look at those animals. They're sleeping. Where are they sleeping? Underground, maybe? Mm -hmm. Earth's yearly trip around the sun affects the seasons one by one. In summer, when the days are long, the sun shines down both hot and strong. While winter has the shortest days, less time for the earth to get warm rays. 
But when you have a winter day, it's summer halfway, the world away. If summer blossoms open wide, it's winter on Earth's other side. Seasons change four times a year. When each one ends, the next one's here. Enjoying changes one by one makes the season so much fun. I'm going to show you the tree. Look at that tree. What do you think she enjoyed doing? Do you remember what she enjoyed doing in all those different seasons? The end. All right, I hope you liked that book, and we are going to keep learning some more about seasons this week, so stay tuned for another video about seasons. Hope you're having a great day. Bye!